Good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. Uh, we're going to be uh, touring Union City, Indiana. Now, for those of you that never heard of Union City, Indiana, or you're not familiar with the state of Indiana, Union City, Indiana is located in the far eastern central region of Indiana. It is located right on the Indiana and Ohio state line. Like on the Indiana side, you got Union City, Indiana. On the Ohio side, you have a you have Union City, Ohio, which I will be putting out the video for Union City, Ohio tomorrow. And Union City, Indiana, and Union City. And Union City, Ohio, both share the same downtown here. Now, the downtown that I'm traveling through right now is in Indiana. So, anyhow, Union City, Indiana, the closest metro area to here is going to be the Dayton, Ohio metro. Dayton, Ohio is located... Uh, it's located 54 miles slash an hour from here. It's an hour east. It's an hour uh, east of here. And Muncie, Indiana is located 33 miles west of here. So those are going to be your two largest cities that are located the, the closest to Union City, Indiana. Now, a lot of people would also refer this area as the Twin City area because they call it the Twin City area because you got Union City, Ohio, along with Union City, Indiana. So some people may refer this region of Indiana to be the Twin Cities for that reason. And the population here is currently sitting at 3,454 people. As of the 2020 census, the population had a 3.6% uh, decline. The population back during the 2010 census used to be 3,584 people. So this city has lost a little bit of people. And, you know, and honestly, again, all the, I mean, I would say the major, I mean, some of you may not agree with what I'm getting ready to say. And that's perfectly okay. But I would say the main disadvantage of living here is the fact that you're not going to be close to any decent metro area. I mean, yeah, you're going to be only an hour west of Dayton. But for those of you that are familiar with Dayton, Ohio, I mean, for one, Dayton, Ohio is not that big. The city of Dayton in itself is only 100,000 people. The Dayton metro area, you know, I didn't even, I didn't look up how big the Dayton metro area was. But if I had to take a wild guess, the Dayton metro area, in fact, let me, you know, let me look it up real quick. All right, folks, I done a little bit of research here and well, well, for starters, the population of Dayton, Ohio, is a little over 137,000 people. Now, I got to be honest, I was getting ready to say that the Dayton metro population might only be about a couple hundred thousand people. But to my surprise, the Dayton metro area is way bigger than I thought. The, the metro area of Dayton is... 814,000 people which is the fourth largest metro in the state of Ohio so 
I gotta be brutally honest with you people. I did not know that the Dayton Metro was as big as it was. And I thought the population of Dayton was closer to maybe 100,000 people. Not, 137, not over 137,000 people. But with all that being said, uh, now the last time I knew the economy in Dayton, the economy in Dayton was not all that great. I mean, I don't know how it is today, so I think I'm. I think for now, I'm going to go ahead and retract what I just said about the disadvantage of living here in Union City. Now, I will say, uh, I'm 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 fairly confident that the economy in, let's say, Indianapolis or Fort Wayne, or the economy and I would say most of your Indiana metro areas are going to be better than the economy in the Dayton metro area. I will say that much. Now, however, I'm pretty sure if you decide to move to Union City, Indiana, or you decide to move to the Twin Cities, whether you're going to move to the Indiana side or you're going to move to, to the Ohio side and you're looking for work. I mean, depending on what type of work you do, I'm fairly sure you'll be able to find something, if not around the Twin City area, you'll be able to find something closer into the Dayton Metro or within the Dayton Metro. And of course, if you're like me, you're a blue collar worker, there's a good chance that you'll be able to find something within the, within the Twin City area or you'll be able to find something close by. I mean, you know, like I said, Muncie's economy is not all that, but there's a few opportunities going towards that direction, or you can go east and go into the Dayton Metro. So now that I realize that the Dayton Metro has got over 800,000 people, I mean, that, I mean, the city of Dayton itself is only 137,000. But the Dayton Metro is over 800,000, so that's a pretty good sized metro. And I'm going to be honest, I did not know that the Dayton Metro was that big. I guess I, I didn't know, I'm going to be honest. I mean, I, I, I guess I was assuming that some of the communities that were, that were close to Dayton were not considered part of the Dayton Metro, but whatever, it, whatever. Anyways... So yeah, if you want to live in Union City, I mean, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and retract what I said a second ago about the disadvantage, about that one disadvantage of living in Union City, Indiana. So anyhow, with that being said, I mean, I think Union City is a fairly decent place to live. I mean, it seems like a good place to live. Now, me personally, if I, you know, I would prefer to live somewhere closer to either Indianapolis or Fort Wayne, but that's me. But just from what I'm able to see through driving to make this video, I don't really see anything wrong with living in Union City. Now, this is based off of first impressions. Obviously, I'm not from Union City. I'm not super familiar with Union City, so I'm going to put that disclaimer out there for you guys. Now, if I were to... Now, if I were to look at the housing market here, I mean, the housing market here is fairly busy. So clearly there, I mean, either A, the housing market is busy because you have a bunch of out of town investors coming through and buying up all the houses. Or two, maybe the people that are buying up the houses are people that genuinely want to move here or they're already living here and maybe they're looking to go from paying rent to purchasing. 
I mean, the housing housing here is relatively affordable. If you're looking to rent, your medium rent prices are going to go from five seventy to a thousand and ten a month. That's you know that's fairly low for today's uh, rent for today's rent market. I mean, your median home prices are a hundred and two thousand dollars, and there are a few houses that are within that price range that are currently for sale. At least according to Realtor.com, there are. Now, I'm fairly sure if you get with an agent, they can probably pull up a few more listings because your agent would have access to the MLS. I'm not an agent, so I don't have any access to that type of information. All I can do is go online and look at Realtor.com or Zillow. So housing here is, is fairly affordable, which is which is a big plus for many people, especially if you're looking to purchase. Now, some of you might be looking at this video and, and you may not want to move here. You know, maybe this city doesn't have the vibes you're looking for. Maybe the, the city doesn't have the beauty that you're looking for. And, you know, I mean, really when it comes to Union City, I mean, it's just, it, it, it's a typical small Midwestern city. There's nothing fancy, nothing special. I mean, it's just a typical Midwestern city with affordable housing. But like I said, I am completely shocked that the Dayton metro area is, is over 800,000 people. I would have thought that the Dayton metro was only maybe, I would say, 300,000 people at most. But I learn something new every day, I will admit. Because earlier I made a video. The last video I made was a video of, uh, let me think here. I made a video of Parker City, which is not far from here. And I made a comment on that video about Dayton that was kind of negative. So if you go over, so go over and watch that video as well. Parker City, Indiana. It's a good video. I mean, if you're looking for a community a little smaller there than this one, you can go check out Parker City. Now I will, uh, never mind. Uh, so as far as it goes for the, uh, for the racial demographics, you got 81.2% white and 17.7% .7 Hispanic. Now we're gonna jump over the niche and see what other people have to say about uh, Union City, Indiana. Okay, okay, for Union City, Indiana, let's see, there's been a total of seven reviews on Niche. Two people rate this city as excellent. Three people give it a very good. One person gave it an average, one person gave it a poor, and nobody gave it a terrible. So if you're new to the channel, I typically start from the top, which is a five star, and I go down from there. So, with that being said, this first review is from is a five star from December of 2020, and it goes as such: Our town does a great job with the uh, community. Our town has a our town has a town community Christmas light show that involves a drive through the light scenery. A laser, a laser show along with getting to see Santa Claus. Our community also has a community. Let's see. Our community also has a community 
Thanksgiving that is open for everyone in the public. Our community school has a food drive about every week for people who need help. Our community is safe, loving community that is open to everyone. Okay, this next one is another five star. And this one was written November of 2019. Uh, great people there. The shops were good, which you can buy all your needs. You can also enjoy a good life after buying clips and playing games with your friends nearby. After buying clips, okay. Uh, I wonder if he meant ships. I don't know. I'm just reading for verbatim what they wrote in, in these comments. So if you see me tripping and stuttering over words and sentences, that's the reason why. Because sometimes when people put these comments in niche, they don't necessarily use proper punctuation or proper spelling. Okay. Going down to the four stars. This first one is th is from is from three months ago. Uh, I've lived in Union City my whole life. It screams small town USA. It's a town where everyone knows each other by name. A lot of good things happen here, like our fall festival. Currently uptown. They are building a place called a Vision Center where students from the high school will get to work with college students from Ball State and other professionals to learn new skills. Another great thing going on in Union City is the Christmas lights in the park. Money that is collected at the park gets used for local sport teams, clubs, charities. One thing I would like to see change would be healthier options to eat. There's not many places to go out to eat in Union City. This pl the places they do have are not the healthy places to eat. I think it's important to think about the health of people living in the community. Okay. This next one is another four star from January of 2020. I enjoy being a student in Union City. Okay, this one is from a high schooler. I'm, I'm gonna read it anyways, whatever. I enjoy being a student in Union City, junior or senior high school. The only, the only that, okay, see, I would, I would have to tell someone to watch out for is the lack of work that the students put into their education and how it hurts our school and programs. The people here that teach are amazing people and ready to help their students out with a problem as long as they ask for it. Some of the other students are not very nice, but that can come out of any school that you come across. With the community being as small as it is, you will know most of the people living around you within days of arriving. Union City is a big personal step for me since I used to live in Greenville, Ohio. For the first few years of my education, but I think that it was the change that I needed to help me on a path to success. Okay, I'm going to read one more. Now this one is another four star from January of 2017. I've lived here my entire life and have loved living here. It is a quaint and quiet, it is quaint and quiet and I enjoy the fact that I enjoy the fact there isn't much traffic and there is a good sense of community. It is very safe and a good place to raise a family. 
there is some shortage of jobs, but there is a great school system and businesses in the next cities over that are fun to enjoy. And in the next businesses in the next cities over that are fun to enjoy. Okay, whatever. I forgot to mention earlier that you can sit out of the seven reviews, you can city has scored a four out of a five star rating. I forgot to mention that uh, a few minutes ago. Okay, moving down to the three star. Uh, January of 2019. I I like the small town feeling of Union City and it is nice knowing that everyone knows you. It seems like everyone is mutually affiliated and that is nice. Okay, moving down to the two star. Now this one is from January of 2017. It's a long run. It's a long one, so let me let's see what they gotta say here. Union City, Indiana is honestly just terrible. The political scene of the whole town, including the school administration, is run blankly by whoever. Last name is correct. The town isn't really the safest, especially at night. The nightlife consists of one single bar, that's it. There aren't any houses to be brought that aren't abandoned or condemned due to meth labs. This makes the city not very family friendly. The upside to that is that the cost of living is lower than most other cities. There aren't any jobs to be gotten to be gotten there to be gotten here for long-term employment so usually people have to work in cities an hour away uh, there it, there is a marsh on the Ohio side so one could get produce there but the nearest gym is about 20 minutes away finally there isn't much diversity. The majority of the people here are white. There is a large amount of Hispanics here and a very, very small amount of African Americans here. That's about it. Now, obviously, for those of you that are familiar with Indiana, you already know that there is no such thing as Marsh. Marsh went out of business, I wanna say, I want to say Marsh went out of business back around sometime. I want to say Marsh went out of business either sometime in 2017 or in 2018. So Marsh has been out of business for, they've been out of business for about six years, give or take. And for those of you that are not familiar with this region of the country, Marsh used to be a grocery store. They used to have locations throughout Indiana and I guess Ohio, but Marsh is no longer in business. So I just want to point that out real quick. And that's going to be all for the commentary. So, you know, please stick around and watch the remaining uh, 15 minutes or so, 16 minutes of the video. So you can see more of the city. All right, folks, that's all for the commentary. And if you like the video, if you want to support the channel, all you got to do is give videos like this a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And if you're already subscribed to the channel, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel because sometimes YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. So stay blessed out there. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.